Hey, this is going to be Building Chalamon, Episode 1. Um, so I had technical difficulties earlier. Well, I'm doing the post-commentary, which this is. Basically, I film myself building, and then I'll um, go back in later and edit me talking, or I'll watch it, and then record it as I'm talking. So basically, right now, you know, I'm just building the base of this pyramid. Well, it's not going to be a pyramid house, but basically what it is... It's going to be a three-layered pyramid, and then I'm going to have a house on top of it. So, it's not going to be too much of a pyramid, and then, you know, what do you call it? Then I'm going to have a house on it, and it looks pretty good in the end, if you ask me. This is going to be a series. Its seasons will be, like, maybe every 30 or 20 episodes, maybe 30, 40. Who knows? You know, it's just I decide when, and then, um, you know... The base, so f so far, you know, this series is doing good. Well, ah, never mind. It's not doing good right now because nobody's seen it yet, but you will when I upload it. But, um, now that, um, wow, I say um a lot. So, let's see. Right now, I'm just making the flooring of what will be the base in the top layer of this pyramid. And, uh, up oh, there it is again. But, I'll get some, uh, up oh, again. But I'm gonna get cobblestone walls and use it on the the outside layer of this base because I think it looks nice. So I'm using stone and cobblestone because you know they look really good. Also, um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep saying um, but um, let's see. So now I'm just choosing the stuff. I'm gonna use spruce wood uh, steps. I thought of nether brick and then I thought no, that's not gonna look right. Um, let's see. I don't really have another account to, you know, do this, and I don't really know how to do this properly, because many of you probably know Shin's Let's Build, and, you know, he does it more professionally than I do, and, I mean, I'm just starting out on this, so, maybe with, um, Cole, with his other account, after he gets a new one, I don't know why he is, but when he gets a new one, I guess he can, um, have, he can watch this, or whatever, and then, you know, I can have it so it's a better view and stuff. But I show you around what it looks like at the end, so... Yeah, sure, you don't get to see everything as I'm building it, but, you know... It looks pretty good in the end. So, I'm using, uh... What do you call it? Glass panes, because the glass blocks, you know... I know they're all the old faithful in the old Minecraft, like some of you guys are. Like, oh my gosh, old Minecraft for the win. And sorry if this is laggy, but... You know, the glass panes look pretty good, and, um... Stone slabs look good too. So the basically the roof of this or the ceiling, sorry, is gonna be made of uh, spruce logs, and the roof is gonna be made of spruce wood steps, and then the body is gonna be or the shell is gonna be glass and stone slabs because they look good. If you hear birds in the background, it's because I have birds, and you know. So now I've got that finished. I'm gonna start work on the the ceiling, and what will be, you know, other stuff, so, originally when I did this, you know, I thought, man, this is going to be such a slow thing, but then, you know, now that I'm, I've sped it up and stuff, it seems a lot faster, like, a lot faster, but, uh, I like tilting it sideways because it looks a lot better, and I'm just setting the time there, so it's a day, but, um, when it gets to nighttime, and it will, when it gets to the point where I need to start doing decorations and lighting, then I'd put it to nighttime, you know, because I don't want mobs spawning in the house. And, yeah. So I'm just um, keeping this on e peaceful right now, so no mobs get in the way when I'm building or whatever. And then, you know, later on I'll do an entire tour of this place, and I'll try my best to remember and stuff what I built. So this is just episode one, building Chalamon. So, sorry if I'm quiet, it's just, you know, I'm trying to think of things I can talk about, because, you know, yeah. I mean, there's stuff to talk about, like what happens at school and everything that happens, but, you know, not everything I want to talk about, and, you know. So that looks good there, and I start putting the steps down, and I'm re going really fast. So it looks, so I miss those blocks sometimes, and everything. And everything gets misplaced, and more misplaced blocks. 
So, yep. Alright, there we go. Now I'm just putting down what will be part of the roof again. And, um, yeah, so... Wow, that's going incredibly fast, actually. On my side, where I'm, you know, recording. But, um... The house is starting to take shape now. And, you know, I'm not the best at decorating the in inside of houses or, you know, decorating houses themselves. This is kind of something I can do easily, you know, from my experiences. But usually when I build a house, it's you know, just a usually big block that I live in because I tend to just, you know, use my houses for, like, storage and stuff and how it can benefit me. I'm Right there, I'm just testing to see how the roof would look because I didn't want to make, you know, make it, like, go, uh go um, straight up and continue with the pattern. I just wanted to stop it somewhere so it looked nice. And I thought that looked good. So, you know, if I if you guys think I should add anything to it, to the house, just let me know. Like, any of that buildings. But, um, I think next we'll be working on the town hall. I just want to make one house so that, you know... Oh, okay, now I'm just... Uh, the roof's finished, and I'm going to start lighting. And set the time tonight here. I'm just having a little bit of uh, troubles with it. Seeing what it's good. And now I wait for sunlight, sun to get down, or nighttime. So now that that's happened, I start putting the lights up, and that, you know, so mobs don't spawn. And I mean, you know, I can, I should be adding more lights on the, on these areas, because, um, mobs have, mobs have a greater chance of spawning and everything, but. I'm happy that they added the walls because they look really good, and I'm, the reason I'm putting them behind these pillars is so that, you, they're no, they're not visible. As soon as you walk up to the house, in that way, you know, I think it looks better. And then I'm adding here, like, the little pathway to the door. And now I actually start decorating the inside of the house, which takes me, like, a couple of minutes. But only because of, you know, my lack of ability to decorate houses on the inside. And there wasn't much space for me to decorate. And So, um, how'd you, what'd you guys think of, um, that, uh, Minecraft Let's Play you did? Oh wait, never mind. <laughs> well, we we were doing a Minecraft Let's Play, and I don't think Cole's uploaded any of it yet. He's recording that scene while I record Tech It With The Stupid, which launches December 25th, the day our old channel started, but I deleted that, and we decided to delete it because, you know, you know, we had 980 views and only, like, 12 videos, which each had, like, what, 10, 30 views? You know, it didn't really make too much sense, and, you know, we thought... You know, that might get a couple of uh, people mad and stuff, but they'll be like, Oh my gosh, you're just botting videos or whatever, and that's not actual views. So, but anyways, I think it's good that we have this new channel anyways, because, you know, we're just experimenting, trying to see what you guys like. And right there, I'm just trying to put the chest that, the front of the bed so I can see, and then, you know, I thought of using the flower pots, but then I thought, where's he going to get clay from, the person that lives here? Now, I tried taming ocelots, and I have a bit of trouble. But, um, I've, I eventually just go with the dog because, you know, dogs are much simpler. And, you know, they actually do stuff for you. So, in case there is a mob in there, you know, it'll attack. Whereas the cat won't. It'll just, you know, fend off creeper, creepers. But I guess, you know. And then, you know, he has the creeper head on the wall because, um, what do you call it? It's there because it symbolizes that he killed a creeper and it's like his trophy for killing the beasts. So, anyways, you know. Here's the en almost the end of the video. Now I'm just dying his collar and everything. And, um... Let's see what happens. It's okay. So, um... Yeah. Here is the end of the first video. See ya!